What steps will you take in the event that someone ingests poison? Get the patient to the nearest hospital as quickly as you can and don't waste any time. In most cases, the first step in treating poisoning is to stop the victim from absorbing any more of the toxic substance. And the second step is to cleanse the body of any poison that was not absorbed. Other relevant factors. In most cases, gastric lavage is performed so that the poison can be removed from the stomach. This section is going to be dedicated to discussing the process known as gastric lavage. It is also known as stomach pumping or gastric irrigation and is the process of emptying the contents of the stomach through the use of a tube. It is only effective up to four to six hours after the ingestion of the poison. A Ryle's tube will be inserted through the patient's nostril and into their stomach. After that, the contents of the stomach are removed and the stomach is then flushed with a large amount of water or saline solution that is at room temperature. Following the completion of gastric lavage, a specific antidote may be administered. In cases of poisoning with heavy metals, paralytic shellfish toxins, opioids, fencyclidine, PCP, acetaminophen, paracetamol, gastric lavage is the treatment of choice. The potential for incomplete removal of the content, the invasive, painful, and time-consuming nature of the procedure, and the risk of complications such as bradycardia, esophageal or gastric perforation, aspiration pneumonia, hypoxia, electrolyte imbalances, and other iatrogenic damage are all drawbacks of this procedure. We appreciate you watching the video. If you haven't yet, please subscribing to this channel.